strong. The oath of office will be administered to Vice President by Senator William F. Nolan of California. I, Richard M. Nixon, do solemnly swear, I, Richard M. Nixon, do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter, and I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Vice President. Yeah. the occasion fills the air with an electric silence. People from all over this country, and yes, the world too, watch, wait, and listen for the moment when Ike will step forward. Eisenhower do solemnly swear I Dwight D. Eisenhower do solemnly swear that you will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States and will to the best of your ability and will to the best of my ability preserve protect and defend the Constitution of the United States preserve protect and defend the Constitution of the United States so help you God so help me God thank you very much He thought back to the year 1953, when he offered the now famous Eisenhower prayer, the first time any president had ever prefaced his inaugural address with such a prayer. Give us, we pray, the power to discern clearly right from wrong, and allow all our words and actions to be governed thereby and by the laws of this land. Especially we pray that our concern shall be for all the people, regardless of station, race, or calling. 